friends, this video on motion in a plane part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 20 before going ahead with part 21. Now we will study relative velocity in a plane. As far as the concept of relative velocity is concerned, it will remain the same as it was in one dimensional motion. So there is nothing new that I am going to tell you about relative velocity. Just that while solving problems, you need to consider both the x coordinate and y coordinate. So relative velocity, you already know what is relative velocity. So for two bodies moving in a plane with velocities v1 and v2 if they are represented by vectors. So velocity of 1 relative to 2 is equal is denoted by v12. v12 means velocity 1 of 1 with respect to 2 I mean with relative to 2 that is equal to v1 minus v2. Similarly velocity of 2 relative to 1 that is v21 is equal to v2 minus v1 right. So in the basic idea of relative velocity is if two bodies are moving how do you see the velocity of the other body when you are already present within the first body which is already moving like you are already in a bus which is moving there is another bus which is also moving beside your bus so how do you see the velocity of that other bus right so this is what the basic concept of relative velocity is which we have discussed in detail when we talked about relative velocity in motion in one dimension. So now we will look at two problems and then proceed further with projectile motion. So here comes the problem 1. It says the velocities v1 and v2 of two objects are given by the vectors v1 is equal to 3i plus 4j minus 4k and v2 is equal to 2i minus 3j minus 4k where i, j and k are the unit vectors. Find the vector for the relative velocity of the first object with respect to the second. What can you say about this vector? Okay, so first of all let us, let us find out the relative velocity. As I already told, v1 is given, v2 is given. Relative velocity of first object with respect to seven, second, that means v12 is the one which we have to calculate. So v12 is nothing but v1 minus v2. Now what is v1? 3i cap plus 4j cap minus 4k cap minus 2i cap minus 3j cap minus 4k cap. Right? So we can solve it. So this becomes minus 2i cap plus 3j cap minus minus plus 4. Okay. Now you take all the i components together that is 3 minus 2i cap plus 4 plus 3j cap minus 4k cap plus 4k cap. So these two gets cancelled. So we are left with i cap plus 7j cap. So this is the relative velocity. Right. So we found the relative velocity. Now the question asks what can you say about this vector? So what unusual thing do you see in this vector? We see that this vector does not have any k component. That means these two particles have motion along x, y and z axis but the relative velocity lies only in the xy plane. So the conclusion is conclusion is relative velocity lies entirely on the xy plane. Fine. Now let us go ahead and look at yet another problem on relative velocity. The problem states rain is falling vertically with a speed of 35 meter per second. So let us suppose this denotes the direction of the rain which is falling with a speed of 35 meter per second. A woman rides a bicycle 
with a speed of 12 meter per second in east to west direction. That means this is the velocity of the rain and let us suppose a woman is traveling from east to west direction. So in this direction the woman is traveling and the speed of the bicycle is 12 meter per second. So velocity of rain is 35 meter per second and velocity of the bicycle is 12 meter per second. Now what is the direction in which she should hold her umbrella? Now let us suppose here also the same concept initially suppose the rain is falling in this direction. Now since the woman is moving in this direction she will feel that the rain is falling somewhere in this direction. Right? That is how it happens you try to think of this situation practically. When you are moving forward and rain is falling in this direction you feel as if the rain is falling in the backward direction. right? So that means the woman will, would feel that the rain is falling somewhat in this direction. So what is this? This is nothing but the relative velocity of the rain with respect to the bicycle. Right? So how do you... So this would be the relative velocity. Now let us suppose this angle is theta. So how do you calculate this angle theta? Now if rain is falling in this direction, that is somewhat like this, then the umbrella has to be hold along this direction. So if this angle is theta, even this angle will be theta. Right? So if this is theta, even this is theta. So first of all, let us calculate tan theta. So what would be tan, tan theta? If you see this figure, tan theta would be equal to this, that means perpendicular by base. Now what is base? Base is VR and what is the perpendicular? Perpendicular is nothing but VB. So the, this will be equal to tan theta would be equal to VB by VR. Right? You can consider it in this sense also. Here also it will be this is the perpendicular that is VB and this is the base that is VR. You consider this triangle that will make it easier for you to understand. Let us suppose this. So what is this tan theta? Perpendicular that is VB and base that is VR. So it is VB by VR. So what is VB? VB is 12 and VR is 35. So theta is equal to tan inverse 12 by 35 which comes out to be 19 degree. Therefore we say that the woman will hold the bicycle at an angle of 19 degree with the vertical towards west. So 19 degree with vertical towards west. Right? So this is the angle. This is the angle or this is the direction in which she will hold the umbrella. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.